Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and we have one of the moldiest cars we've done in a very long time for you. Today we're at Definitive Motor Works in Broadview Heights, Ohio and check out some of the stuff that was around us while we were working. It was actually pretty tough for me to stay on task throughout the entire day, but I mean, there's a million dollar SVJ Roadster right next to us, so come on. But anyways, the Z3 was left under a tree for a few years until the new owner bought it and shipped it to Definitive to have it worked on. So they called us to come clean it first before they could start working on it. And let me say, the transformation is insane. And really quickly, look at these sweet tarts and how moldy and disgusting they got. I don't know how long they had to have been sitting there. Maybe you guys would know, but it was gross. And with that being said, I wanna ask the question of the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. How would you guys feel about a car that was full of mold at one point, then deep cleaned by us? Would you feel comfortable driving it or would you still be thinking about the condition it was in previously? So the first thing we'll do is put the ozone machine in the car to start killing all the mold before we touch anything inside of it. And then we'll clean the jams, suck out all the acorns from the engine bay compartment, and then clean that. And while we're detailing, especially at other shops, we do try to keep the floor as clean as possible. And we also clean it afterwards completely in case you guys were curious. And now before pressure washing the car, we'll go ahead and spray a paint safe degreaser on it to start breaking up that grime. And then we'll go ahead and actually pressure wash it. And it really helps the process and it makes it easier to get it off the paint.
Not gonna lie, I honestly think you guys should like the video and subscribe just for the sick angle I got for you guys. But anyways, cleaning the top, we used our extractor soap and a brush and we were able to brush it in and then we power washed it away. Now moving on to the wheels, we used our iron fallout remover and then we followed that up with some PNS brake buster with an assortment of different brushes. You want to make sure you can get into every nook and cranny so you can really get them clean and then you pressure wash all of it away leaving a clean wheel. So you probably see us do this step in every single video when we polish a car and I don't always explain what it is but we're using iron fallout remover on the paint followed by a clay mitt and that's just getting all the contaminants off of the paint preparing it for it to be polished. So if you guys are curious that's what we're doing and even after this step it leaves it really smooth but then you go ahead and you polish it. It takes out the marring that it leaves, the micro scratches, all that stuff and it gives you a really nice finish. And moving on to the actual polishing, it's really hard to film uh, silver paint and show the before and after, but we actually got a pretty decent shot after it was done. There was a lot of water spotting on this paint, but in a couple seconds after he peels up the tape, you will see it when we go from here where it's really bad and then you go across the paint and you can see that it looks really good. So it's hard to show it on camera, but in person you could definitely tell a difference. Finally, we finished it up with a wax. We used Colonite 845. We threw it on there, let it cure for a little bit, took it off, and this paint was good to go. It looked absolutely beautiful. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of this transformation so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. 
Um, and if there's anything you would have done differently or the same as us, leave it down there as well. Now moving on to the doors and the steering wheel and all that stuff like that, we used our all-purpose cleaner and a soft bristle brush, and then we followed it with our steamer and a microfiber towel. And it's really simple to clean this stuff. All you have to do is take your time. And we use the steamer to help loosen the mold that's in those pores of the leather. And then we use the tornador afterwards to help dry everything up. Personally, I think the seats are the most satisfying transformation of this entire interior. Let me know what you guys think down below, what your favorite part is. But watching all that mold get taken off, especially with the Tornador, it just, it's so satisfying. Anyways, we use our all-purpose cleaner with some different brushes and the steamer again. And we were able to recover them. And then after we were done cleaning them, we used our leather conditioner to help bring them back and make them soft again. Thank you.